Okay friends, the first thing that we have to do to get started on replacing our master cylinder is to locate it. It's going to be on the driver's side of the truck, right next to where your brake booster is. Let's go ahead and take the cap right off of that. We'll set this aside. After that, you want to make sure that you take out any existing fluid that's inside of the master cylinder. You can use a little bleeder or whatever you might happen to have. Now that we have all the fluid out of here, the next thing that I want to mention to you is that we're going to have to bleed any air out of the system after we put in the brand new master cylinder. So that means that you're going to have to get down to all of your wheels and make sure that the bleeder screws on those open up. Now I'm just going to put an absorbent pad underneath this because once we remove these, there's always the possibility brake fluid could come out. And of course, I don't want that to get on the floor or contaminate the environment. Let's take a nice brush. I'm going to try to get off any of this loose debris on here, including the rust. Same on this one. Now some penetrant. Now we're going to start cracking free these lines. When we start turning these, you want to pay attention to the line themselves and make sure it's not twisting as we start loosening these. I'm just going to work it back and forth. Nice. Now that we have both of our lines loose, the next thing that we want to do is remove our mounting nuts. There's one on the driver's side, and then there's going to be one over on the passenger side. Another thing that's going to be holding this to the booster itself is this bracket that comes underneath it. But of course, we'll move that out of the way once we have these nuts loose. Set that aside. This side's loose. Let's do the same to the other side. Now we can slide the bracket out of the way, remove our master cylinder. All right, with the master cylinder out of the way, the next thing that we want to pay attention to is the brake booster itself. Now, as you can tell on this one, I have a lot of paint that's kind of flaking off of this, which tells me that the brake master cylinder was leaking. But what I'm paying attention to is this area right along the backside here. I want to make sure that there wasn't any fluid coming out of there. If there was, there's a possibility that it could have made its way into the brake booster right here. Now this one is sealed, so it's very unlikely. I'm not necessarily worried about it in this application, but what I do want to do is just get off all this paint and just get it out of the way. Might as well clean this at the same time. Before we can get ready to install our brand new master cylinder, the next thing that we have to do is bleed it or bench bleed it. What I mean by that is we want to make sure that we have this full of fluid before we go ahead and put it in the truck and it still has air in the system. To do that, what you'll notice is I used a couple fittings that fit perfectly into this, and then I just ran some brand new brake line that lead up and into the reservoir. You want to make sure that it's going to sit down inside the fluid, so that way there, when we start pushing fluid and air out of this, it's going to go in here, and then of course the air is going to make its way out along the top, but it'll continue filling with fluid. Now I'm going to top this off with some brand new DOT3 brake fluid, because that's what our truck requires. When I press, I want to come right inside the center area here, and I want to make sure that I'm not going to use something that's sharp and that might actually potentially damage this. I just have a nice brass punch. I'll come right in the center, and I'm going to try to push this, and that's going to force out the air. Now I'm going to slowly let it retract. And then we'll repeat this process several times. Okay, so I've done this a whole bunch of times, and at this point, I have no air bubbles making their way up. I feel confident that I bled out all the air inside the master cylinder. So at this point, let's go ahead and get back over to the truck. I'm just going to put a little bit of grease right on this push rod. That's going to be the spot that pushes up against the master cylinder port there. Now I'm going to carefully take the master cylinder. We'll bring it right over, slide it over those studs. You should feel it slide right in easy peasy. If it feels as though it's binding in any way, it might not be lining up with that stud that's on the inside or even the studs on the outside here. So of course you want to double check that. At this point, we can take this bracket, we'll slide it over the studs as well. I'm gonna carefully start on my nuts. Make sure the pad's still under here and then we'll remove our little bleeder tubes that we created. Start the line in by hand. Now people say you leave this loose, but for me personally, I'm just gonna go ahead and gently snug it. That way there I can do the other line without this continuing to leak out. Right. Bottom that one out. Now we're gonna tighten up our two stud nuts. 
Okay, they're both bottomed out. Now let's torque them. The torque for these is between 200 and 300 inch pounds. I'm gonna go 250. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and top off our master cylinder here. We wanna make sure that it's nice and full. We'll put the cap back on it. And then we need to have a second person inside of the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Now that we have this on there, the second person in the truck is gonna go ahead and push on that brake pedal. Before they do that though, I need to pop both these lines open just a little bit so fluid will come out of them. Make sure that you have a nice collection packet underneath here still. That way there it's gonna collect all that fluid. Right. I've got both of these loose. Go ahead and slowly press down on that and then hold it. All right, you can release. Now we're just going to open these up again real quick. Go ahead and slowly step down, please. You can release. Go ahead and slowly step down, please. Okay. I'm gonna close this. Let's just double check to make sure they're both nice and tight. Perfect, you can release. All right, so now at this point, I'm just gonna wipe up the mess that I have here. A lot of times what people will tell you is you should be pretty much good to go with air inside the system. Um, but for me personally, what I actually like to do is go ahead and go to each of the wheels and I'm gonna make sure that I bleed each of those wheels. I wanna just ensure that there's no air inside any of the system. And of course, I wanna make sure that I have plenty of brand new brake fluid in there. The old fluid that is inside there could have potentially been contaminated or even old. I wanna just have brand new fluid in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's make sure our fluid's topped off. And now when we go to bleed the brakes, we're going to start with the right rear, go left rear, right front, and then left front. I'm just going to carefully pop this open. Got some fluid trickling out of there. That's good. It's best if you make sure that the master cylinder is slightly open for this. That way there, when we're pulling this, it's not going to necessarily damage that cover. Okay, so at this point, this has been flushing for a little while here. I ran a whole bunch of fluid through there. I made sure that I double checked the master cylinder to make sure it was full the whole way along. Now I can go ahead and close this off. Now that we have that nice and tight, it's a good idea to make sure that you do the same to all wheels before you continue with your manual bleed. Okay, so we just finished thoroughly flushing the entire brake system. Now we're gonna continue on with our manual bleed. I'm gonna start at the right rear, like I said. Go ahead and pump up those brakes. Pump. All right, that one looks good. Now over on the left rear, let's do the same thing. Clear to pump. Got a little air out of that one. Go ahead and pump it again. No air on that. Let's try one more time. Go ahead. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and clean up the mess back here and then we'll move along to the right front. Go ahead and pump up the brakes, please. Clear to pump. Okay, I saw no air coming out on that one. We'll go ahead and close this off and then we can move along. Time to bleed the left front caliper right here. Go ahead and pump up the brakes.
Clear the pump. Pump. All right. So on that last one right there, I didn't see any air come out. I feel confident that that looks good enough. Now we'll just go ahead and close everything off and clean up our mess. The easiest way to clean down brake fluid is just to spray a little bit of water on it. That's gonna help get rid of it. After that, make sure you put on your bleeder screw to protect the bleeder. Do the same on all wheels. Let's just double check our master cylinder. We wanna make sure we top it off to the maximum line in both of the holes. Perfect. Make sure you close it off so it's nice and tight and sealed completely. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and put our wheels up on here. And then once we get them on, we'll snug up all of our lug nuts and then torque them to 100 foot pounds. Torqued. And now you would just do the same to all the other wheels.